What we do a lot as psychological kinesiologists is help people get to the other side of the unwanted state. So for example, anxiety right now is at an all time high. It's the most I've ever seen, experienced, witnessed in my life anyway. And we look at that as a prolonged state of being in fight or flight, a prolonged state of fear. And when that rain barrel gets so filled with that that it overflows, it shows up in things like PTSD and having panic attacks. So what we do is we look at what's on the other side of fear. What's on the other side of that is feeling courageous, feeling a sense of inner strength, personal power, courage, resilience. No matter what happens, no matter what comes my way, I can handle it. And I might even come out better because I will have overcome some challenge and learned things from that. So how do we get to that new state of being so we can shift out of anxiety into courage? Here are some ideas. You might want to grab a pen if you want to write some down. So one idea is to take a martial arts class or Qigong or Tai Chi. You, you use your movement with the breath, you're gaining personal strength, inner power, fortitude, um, you're working with energy, it's beautiful. You could read books on how to gain resilience and inner courage, personal strength. You could take a resiliency training. There are courses online right now that you could hop on YouTube uh, or hop on Google and find one. Another thing is to work at the subconscious level to establish positive beliefs. That might be a hypnotherapist or someone like me, a psychological kinesiologist, psyche practitioner, and we can create a whole brain state in which you have subconscious beliefs that are like this. It's easy for me to handle the ups and downs of life, or no matter what comes my way, I have the courage, strength, and resilience to move through it with ease, things like that. What if that was running your subconscious program? Imagine how powerful that is. Another thing that you can do is disrupt your body posture. You'll notice when you're in a fear state, shoulders slump, belly caves in. This informs your body that you're in a state of sadness, sorrow, fear, scarcity. If you open your chest, if you move your shoulder blades together and feel that expansion, if you take a power pose like arms down by your sides or arms up, this informs your body that you are in a different state of being and different chemicals are released. Then uh, another thing that we could do is to grab a piece of paper and write down the challenge that you're experiencing or the fear that you have and then take it worst case scenario. What if this happens? What if this happens? Oh my gosh, what if that happened? What if that happened? And then come up with possible solutions. How would you handle it? Well, if this happened, this is something I could do. If this happened, this is what I would do. Go down the list and strategize. Get some uh, tactical information together about what you would do to handle that. And then, now that you've gone down the dark side, you've gotta take it to the light side. So what if something good came out of it? What if that springboarded to something even better and something even better came out of that? Some, some um, like reality is what's going to happen is right in the middle of those two things, but by burning out both sides, you release a lot of the anxiousness about un not knowing. You have some strategies in place. You've seen possibilities that exist on both sides and you feel more secure being in the middle. Even though we don't know what's going to happen, we have this sense of preparedness or, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could handle anything that comes my way, right? So you guys, I hope that you use some of these tools. Um, let me know what works. I always like to share stuff like this with you, help us move into a new state of being. So I hope you have a beautiful day and peace. Bye.